I have an old affinity with all the tools which use CLI or command line interface. In this video, I am going to introduce you to yet another CLI tool to chat with the models hosted by Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, I already have done heaps of videos on it, so please search the channel. Just quickly, Olama is one of the easiest tools to download and run large language models locally. Installation is fairly simple. All you need to do is to click on this download button. Select your operating system. For example, in Linux, just copy and run this command and Olama will be installed. And then you can pull or run your models directly from your local host. Going back to this new tool called as Oterm, this is a terminal client for Olama. It is intuitive, it is simply text based and there is no need to run any other server, front end or need to install any libraries. All you need to do is to just type Oterm in your terminal and then you can start talking with your Olama models. It maintains a multiple persistent chat sessions it stores them together with the context embeddings and also system prompt customization in SQLite. It can use any of the models you have pulled in Olama or your own custom models. It allows for easy customization of the model system prompt and parameters. In this video, we will be installing it locally and then we will see how to use it. Before I show you the installation, Allow me to give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM which I am going to use and also the GPU. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description plus a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my local system where as you can see I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is a GPU card courtesy mass compute which I am using NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Of course for this demo you do, don't need that much. Let me clear the screen. Another thing as you might have guessed I always suggest is to have Conda installed which keeps everything nice simple and uh, separate from your local installation. So I am just going to create this Conda environment called as Ota with Python 3.11. And that just creates a virtual environment for us. Let's wait for it to get created and then we can step into it by simply activating it. And you will see at the left that it is now activated. Let me clear the screen. Now first up let me show you that Olama is there. So I am just doing Olama list and I have heaps of models already there which I can use easily. If you want to download your own model simply run Olama run and model name and model will start running after downloading on your local system okay so that is done let me clear the screen for installation all you need to do is to do this pip install oterm and it is going to install oterm on your local system so let's wait for it to finish it's gonna take too long it's a very very lightweight cli system you see that it is already done let me clear the screen now in order to run Oterm, as I mentioned earlier, all you need to do is to just type Oterm and press enter. So as soon as I press enter, you see that how nifty, cool and really uh, nerdy sort of interface is there. And on the left hand side, you would see that you can select a model by just pressing your arrow key up and down. And then I have Llama 3, if I code stall, I can just go with anything. And as you go through the models, you also get the model info like what is the tag, whether it is a chat model or it is a instruct model. And as soon as you, you can click on it too or press enter and it selects the model. So for example, here I have Llama 3 instruct. You can simply ask it like something, show me a Python script to do a mendel broad set just just a math stuff so let's see what this does and this is not a full llama 3 version by the way these are the quantized one which have been reduced in precision so that it would fit on smaller gpu so even if you are running 8 gb vram gpu even for 
you know lesser it might run there you go so it has produced the response the best thing is look at the interface how nice it looks i can even scroll down with this bar easily and if you look at the response uh, first up it has just put in uh, you know introductory line then your actual script in a very nice way with proper colors and then there is a dotted synopsis and then it is also telling you that what exactly it has done amazing stuff now if you click here it just shrinks it on the very right green i mean and then if you look at the bottom bar here you can edit it um, the chat i mean you can go with multi-line you can add image with control p i will also try it out shortly and you can even export it and if you want to quit just press control capital q so for example if i say but it's not an image model let me see if i could find an image um, model with olama so let's try out the image now so i'm just going to select this moon dream model as you can see here so its size is 1.74 gig there are few parameters on the right hand side so let me press enter here okay, so this is a moon dream latest let me select an image i am pressing control p capital p and as soon as you press control capital p it takes you to your local operating system where you can select your image so i'm just going to go and select an image which i already have downloaded let's see if i have it quick 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 okay so this is the one i have i'm just going to select 4a.jpg and i am just going to press enter here so this has been added now i'm before i okay let me drive the prompt describe the image and i'm going to show you first the image what exactly this image looks like this is the image which i have put it in the browser with the sunset a tree and then a very nice scenery let's go back and then press center there you go so it says the image depicts a beautiful sunset over the ocean with still hooted kangaroos and a flock of birds flying in front of it good stuff not sure about the ocean bit but otherwise it is a very very uh, nice thing so but the point is that you can use images you can use text just within your own terminal with cli that is a real beauty now in order to go back just uh, press ctrl q or if you want a new chat just press ctrl capital n there you go so as soon as i have pressed ctrl capital n it has taken me here and as you can see you can just select any model here you can save it and there are a lot of other controls which you can check it check out for example um, if i select this maybe mistral press enter you can see you can export your chat you can rename it you can even press ctrl x and it is going to forget because you see at the top there are few chats going on so this is a i just pressed it so it also gives you prompt history and then you just press escape to get out of here so amazing uh, tool i really like it i'm sure that you also liked it because the interface is so cool I will drop the link to it repo in beauty's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching